Thick. The most surprising movie of the year oh. is gonna be the Barbie movie. Nobody, nobody. Out. Get out. Oh. That way. That's where you can go. No. Welcome to Maine's Movie Thoughts. I'm Sierra, and this is our 2023 movie kickoff debate. This movie debate will feature three rounds with one question per round. Each round, the players will eat a hot wing. As the rounds progress, the wings will get hotter. At the end, the loser of the debate will eat the hottest wing of them all. The wings will be a concoction of ghost peppers and other spices. Our judges today will be Kelsey and Taylor. And if our two judges cannot come to a decision, I will be the tiebreaker for them. Now for our competitors. What? <laughs> <laughs> now for our competitors. We have Maine's Movie Thoughts himself and his competitor, Anthony. Question one. What is going to be the most disappointing movie of 2023? Maine? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be Craven the Hunter because what Sony keeps doing is they keep taking beloved Spider-Man characters just because they own the IP and they're making hot garbage. That's why I believe, and you can go look at my first ever video, why the Sony-verse should end, why the Sony Spider-Verse should end, by clicking the card up, up above. Go ahead. Is it up there? Yeah, it's up there. Like top left? Yes. Okay. All right. Um... Yeah, it's probably gonna suck, honestly. But it's not gonna suck nearly as bad as if this Wonka movie actually comes out. The last thing the world needs is a backstory for Willy Wonka. They could have they could have left the original alone. Johnny Depp's version was creepy, and I hated it. He was strange. It was terrible. No, he okay. butchered it. He no. butchered it. He butchered. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. I know, I, and, and you know, before you even get into it, I understand that was not, the original was not a movie that was made for our childhood, our? Yes. Our childhood? I get it, I understand. But we all watched it as children. Well, 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 hold on, the, the, re the reason why, the reason why we need the backstory of Wonka is exactly what you said. We don't, it's, hold on, we or, don't. or just another nope. Wonka movie is nope. to redeem what Johnny Depp did. Yes, nope. Johnny Depp's was, Charlie nope. and the Chocolate Factory we can, was we creepy. just forget about it and that's it. Yeah, but you have one of the hottest actors coming up in Hollywood now, Timothy Chalamet. It's gonna drive people to the theaters. Nobody is gonna, Craven the Hunter is one of Spider-Man's best rogues gallery villains. And once but. again, in, we're gonna butcher him because all Sony wants to do is just toss up something to do but a Sinister Six movie and they don't have a Spider-Man right now. But we expect it to suck. It's not gonna be a, out of the nowhere, out of the blue sky suck. We expect that movie to be terrible. And if it's good, do we'll we? be pleasantly surprised. Wonka, we know, is going to suck. Nobody is going to be able to capture the magic that Gene Wilder had back in the day. He, right? here's, the, here's the thing, but it's going to drive people to the movies because of Timothy Chalamet, Nobody's... the knockoff version of Tom Holland. That is going to drive people into the movie theaters. Aaron Taylor Johnson, is it, they're try, what somebody's trying to do is they're trying to capture something that they have no business trying to capture. They butchered Venom. This is why this is going to be the most I like disappointing. Venom. Nobody, I like Venom. Oh my God. I liked both of them. Okay, okay. They were great movies. Did they do Justice by Carnage? Carnage is one of the deadliest, most evil you're villains biased. in comic book history. It I'm was not a biased. great movie. If you're not biased, it's what a great was a great movie? movie. Uh, Venom. No, it was Especially not. The first one. They made it, it a fantastic. comedy. Why is Venom a comedy? There was comedic uh, parts to it, but there no, was also dark no, parts no, to no, it. No, no, no. There was wasn't. There wasn't any dark parts. Oh, he ate hey, Kelsey. Some, can uh, start us off? Yeah. Okay, so there were only two points that I picked up on being made, minus the carnage because that was just a mess. Uh, the crate, the, the, the Sony thing, I don't know who this Timothy is. I guess maybe whoever. I, I feel like it's biased because I do agree with the creepy Wonka part. <laughs> but that's, I don't know. I didn't think the other ones were, I didn't think, it was just the creepy Wonka. That was the only point that jumped out at me. And I don't know who this, I didn't get your point that you were trying to make with that Timothy dude. We didn't get that far. So, unfortunately, it could have been a good point, but Wonka was creepy in the second one. I agree with that. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. All right, now, Taylor? Well, <laughs> um, so, yeah, the Timothy Chalamet, I don't think that he's... 
I know who he is, but it's, I don't feel like that's really an expectation. Um, I liked Anthony's point about like the childhood movie aspect and being disappointed. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Wong with Wonka. Won this debate. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Anthony has won this debate, right? <laughs> Not Morty. Not Morty. Not <laughs> yeah. again. Oh God, Morty has to go. Contestants, you can take a bite of the first movie. Can I get a fork? A napkin? No, Nothing? You oh, you're already going. Oh, okay, you're already into it. Gotcha. Like I'm blocked. Right. Oh. Don't do it. I don't know if they're. It's not bad. It's not bad. Mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, a little bit. A little bit. That's good. You good? Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. I'm hungry. Mmm. <laughs> Lightweight, baby. <laughs> Question two. What movie is going to be the surprise hit for, of the year? Go ahead. Yeah. I, I have the floor? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, cocaine Bear. I know I don't have a good reason, but if you've watched that trailer and you know anything about movies, you can say, like, that's an instant classic right there. Stupid, stupid action scenes, stupid quotables. It's it's got it. It's got it all. all right. and I'm, so I'm, 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 I'm so everything that you just said about Cocaine Bear, I don't think that anybody was expecting much of it. It's not going to be an Oscar Oscar nominated it have movie. To be. However, people it's are going to go see it. It's about a bear that takes cocaine and he goes crazy. Yes. Like yes. What's not that entertaining sounds, about exactly, that? Exactly. That sounds entertaining. Fantastic. The most surprising movie of the year oh. is going to be the Barbie movie. Nobody, nobody. Out. Get out. That way. That's where you can go. No, no, okay. No, no. Be the most surprising movie is going to be the Barbie movie because nobody is expecting anything from this movie. It has Simu, it has Simu Liu, Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling. It is going to be the surprise hit of the year because I believe that and this movie is going to be like charming. All 13 people that watch it are probably going to Exactly. Agree with you. See, you don't Maybe. have any expectations of the Barbie movie. They're I don't either. The kids however, love it. however, the kids. I love Margot That's Robbie. It. I love Simu Liu, who played Shang-Chi. And I feel like this is going to be is the surprise hit of the year. Is that a character from another movie that doesn't matter? Shang-Chi? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, a lot of people so liked it. Just, Everybody just it is there. going to go into Cocaine Bear expecting exactly what it is. It's yep. going to be a expecting good, it to be dumb, yeah, dumb be fun good. movie. It's no, they're gonna, no, but you just proved my point by scoffing at the idea of the Barbie movie. Nobody, I'm not expecting no, much of it, but no, that little teaser no, trailer. No, like literally nobody's gonna watch it. The Barbie. little teaser tra trailer that we got for the it's, movie just made me interested. It I thought peaked, it was a joke when it, I saw the trailer. Exactly, it piqued so many people's interest. I wouldn't be surprised I thought if it, was it got a, canceled. I thought it was a joke when they announced it anyway a live action barbie movie what is that going to be about Trash. however exactly that's why it's going to be the surprise hit it's of the year nobody's expecting nobody's expecting anything of this movie cocaine not, bear is exactly what people expect it to be dumb Dumb fun, so that can't be disappointing when you already know exactly fun what could be you're, trash, you know exactly what be. you're going into that movie to see. Dumb fun, an instant cult exactly, classic. Exactly, and all like parents of thirteen year olds know what they're gonna get out of the, Barbie movie. They're gonna hate it, yeah, but they're gonna love it. Yeah, and guess what? That's Every it. everybody thought that Top Gun Maverick was gonna be a hot pile of garbage, and it was the no. Who it, thought that? Everybody. There was a lot of people. A movie, and you're waiting. 30 to 40 years to do a sequel? No, that, that movie had no expectations, but when you went in, you saw a spectacle, and that's what I expect the Barbie movie to be. <laughs> All right, right question two. What movie is going to be the surprise hit of the year? Taylor, will you go first? Yeah, so, uh, based on the arguments, um, I do feel like we kind of know what to expect with cocaine beer. Um, you know, like Anthony said, it's going to be a stupid classic, but I feel like we kind of expect that. So um, I think he's right. We have no expectations for the Barbie movie. So I'm going to say Barbie movie wins that round for me. All right, great. Now, Kelsey. Mm hmm. What is your thought? Mm. Okay, so. I didn't watch either of the trailers, so I was trying to be genuine. <laughs> but um, okay, so just the 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 points of the kids movies. Sometimes the kids movies smack, like they're just good. And then the cult classic, like 
those are like fun, but not all of the time. And then the other thing was, is that maybe if you had included some actors that I would know, okay. But the list of people opposed to the 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 cocaine bear, I would definitely say the Barbie because they seem to have more pretty good actors supposed to be coming up. I'm probably gonna have to eat my words, but you know. It is what it is. <laughs> Is that two? For That's two. Yeah, two. That for is Barbie. two. All right. Yeah. Let's go. It's, it is what it is. All right, weenie boy, Jermaine. Okay, hey, round two. Go ahead and eat the second wing. All right. So we're sending it. It is double-sided, too, Let's of go. a different Let's get some more of that. Some big bites. Okay. How classy. You can take that. Oh, my God. That's got some heat to it. It's like habanero. <laughs> Make my hairline sweat. Don't touch your face mm. or anything. <laughs> your eyes. <clears throat> mm, that's a slow building burn. Oh, uh, that's hot. Oh, that's mm -hmm. hot. Okay. Can you feel it in your nose yet? No, I feel my soul. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's my um, <laughs> my inner elbow is, or whatever this part's called is sweating. Yeah, that's what you Inner know. elbow, I think. <laughs> there you go. Accidentally tasted the last sauce. Oh! Well, Jermaine, I guess. The biggest. Yeah, now it's like really hot. That's crazy. Question three What should be the most anticipated movie of the year? Go ahead. Oh, okay. I went first last time. <laughs> the the most, big dog. The most anticipated movie of the year is. Um, it's gonna be Into the Spider Verse. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Because. Uh, because the first one was so good. It was so good, and they're coming back again. Mm. Yep, go ahead. You good? Yeah. You sure? Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, dude. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple good ones coming out. But I think uh, this um, 65 movie. And uh, I think a lot's really, there's, there's quite a, oh man. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so the expectations, at least for me, um, being a force of dinosaur fan, you know. Um, so we got a good taste of like the whole dinosaur thing uh, last couple of months with Dominion. We've got another dinosaur movie, but it's a Sam Raimi directed dinosaur movie with Adam Driver as the lead. I'm excited for it. Um, it's kind of a potential horror science fiction. Uh, that's that's probably good. And unfortunately, it does happen like in March. It's supposed to be coming out in March. So that leaves a lot of time I, in the year, but you know. I can't say. Sam Raimi left a bad taste in my mouth with the multiverse of madness. <laughs> But into the into the Spider Verse could have been done better. Yeah, into the Spider Verse, it has a great story, a great premise. Mm. It has Miles Morales, who's who's Spider Man that we've all we all wanted to see for so long. And the, the only thing that Sony can do is animate it because they they're doing Miles right. They just can't. It is um they can't they can't do live action and. This is the formula that they should stick to, and I hope Into the Spider Verse is the biggest hit for them, so they can leave live action Spider Man alone. Yeah, I, I could see that, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still cartoons, unfortunately. I mean, I like cartoons, but it's still cartoons. It is. It is. It is. You know, it's this, not only cartoons. That's like saying Avatar <clears throat> is just CG. It it was unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, it was, but it, it's more spectacular. Than I, that. I I get it. I get it now. Back to back to what I was talking about previously. That sixty-five movie. It's hopefully something different than the fan service escapade we had with Dominion. And I think that uh, a lot of people were hyped from watching Dominion and watching dinosaurs on screen, and they're going to be just as excited to see this. One, one, one thing I can say, even though the, the in my opinion the the sequel trilogy. Oh god, it hurts when I breathe out. It, it, it was a disappointment. You don't know much about this movie. It has Adam Driver. I know. And it has a teaser trailer, but you know, it's and so even the ominous. Teaser trailer so was good. I don't see how this can be that anticipated when you don't know much about the movie. God. Oh my god. Well, we didn't know what to expect about, about the first Spider-Man movie, the Spider-Verse <sighs> movie before it came out, you know, and we were pleasantly surprised that it was good because it had the potential to be a Netflix show, you know. And once it came out and we saw that it was good, we knew it was good afterwards, and now we can anticipate this one. I understand that, you know. Okay, and again, question three. What should be the most anticipated movie of the year? Kelsey, what is your thoughts on the debate? Um, 
I'm only going with the 65 movie just because the multiverse, that's legit. If that, it had the potential to be very much so trash. And I'm always worried about the sequels in general because when they redo it and they elaborate, it could, in fact, his point being the Netflix. And then the other thing was is that the horror sci-fi, that's just always thrilling and always exciting. You can see it at a drive-in. You can see it at home. And it's like, oh, every time. And then I just, I'm scared they're going to butcher it, especially being that the last time Jermaine's points on the Spider-Man with Sony, they like to butcher it. So I'm going to go with the 65 movie. All right. And Taylor, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm going to have to disagree. So I'm going to go with Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I agree. Like, I feel like we need a good multiversal movie. Um feel like he's right it's not just a cartoon and I feel like we can see a lot of stuff that we haven't seen before um it's not really I don't think it'd be comparable to the first movie even though it was great um I think it'll give us something different so I'm gonna go with Into the Spider-Verse okay so we've got Kelsey for one and Taylor for the other so now we need a split decision and that'll be me okay mm -hmm. normally in this part of the game I go ahead and pick a winner but since it's the first movie debate of the year they both can just eat the final. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's that's fair. That's fair. Right. See you see, see on go. down the road. You know this makes our uh, record one, one, and one. Because uh, we like to tie like the Bengals and Eagles. <laughs> Shut up. All right, let's go. You ready? Mm -mm. Like a big bite? Oh no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not. It's instant. I'm waiting for it to like all of a sudden hit me. It built. It's there. It's there. Don't you throw out the trash can right there? It built. Yeah. Yeah, it gets worse. Oh, that bit. Oh, oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, okay. You need to use it? Mm. That, <laughs> that's pure violence. Click like, share, subscribe, all those beautiful things. That's the end of the debate. I had to finish that for him because as you can see, he could not handle it. Have a good day. <laughs>